China's People's Liberation Army, PLA, has initiated a series of joint exercises near Taiwan aimed at delivering a punitive and deterrent message to separatist factions advocating for the island's independence, as stated in a press release on Thursday. The maneuvers will involve coordinated efforts from the PLA's Army, Navy, Air Force, and Rocket Force in the Taiwan Strait, spanning various directions surrounding Taiwan and its peripheral islands on Thursday and Friday, announced military spokesperson Li Shi. These exercises will concentrate on synchronized sea air combat readiness patrols, securing battlefield dominance, and executing joint precision strikes on strategic targets, Li emphasized. They will simulate approaches toward areas surrounding Taiwan, along with operations both within and beyond the island chain to assess genuine combat capabilities. The Chinese military views this exercise as a firm response to the separatist actions of Taiwan independence elements and a stern admonition against interference and provocation by external actors. In reaction, the Taiwanese Defense Ministry deployed aircraft, naval vessels, and coastal missile systems to monitor PLA movements, condemning the sudden drills for endangering regional stability. Taiwan, being the final bastion of nationalist forces during the 1940s Chinese Civil War, has maintained de facto autonomy since then, identifying itself as the Republic of China and aligning with the US. Beijing seeks the peaceful reunification of the island but reserves the right to employ military means if Taipei formally declares independence. In a recent address, newly inaugurated Taiwanese President Lai ching urged Beijing to acknowledge the reality of the Republic of China's existence and engage in collaboration with the lawful government chosen by Taiwan's populace. He asserted that Taipei and Beijing stand on equal footing, not subordinate to one another. Beijing has denounced these statements as incendiary and separatist. Chen Binhua, a spokesperson for the State Council Taiwan Affairs Office, accused Lai of colluding with external forces and serving as their pawn, vowing to counter and penalize such actions.